<laughs> and as I said before we started, they're uh -huh. always adding something yes. new. So those were the five must stops right now. But we're going to add one to the list because this place is about to open up on September 15th. And Marissa, I think we found ourselves in a bit of a sticky situation. Yeah, we have very sticky, but super sweet at the same time. Steve and Clemente, thank you so much for joining us with Sticky Situations. You all are getting ready to open a location in Maryland. We are here in National Harbor, 170 American Way. We open September 15th. Uh -huh. and we raise honeybees. We make our own honey, honey butter, honey mustard. Wow. But as we head into the fall, I thought we might kind of do an anti-allergen cocktail. Oh, okay. Much needed. Did you say cocktail? Yes. No, that's, so, that's where you got so, college, so, cocktail. So if you ladies wanted to help me out. We do. Oh, sure. Uh, so our bees are pollinating on lavender blossom, and um, they made lavender honey. Okay. Now, in this bowl, we have ricotta. Ricotta. So if you want to add a little bit of the lavender honey um, to that particular ricotta, just drizzle that in there with our honey dipper. Not too much. Oh, that's perfect. A little bit more. A little bit so more. So where are all your bees? We have them pollinating 54 different farms across the United States. Wow. That's perfect. Now okay. are right there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of blood orange olive oil to this. Mm. So if you just want to drizzle that in. That's perfect. Okay. okay, and now we're just gonna whip this with just a basic spatula, okay? Now, yeah. when you get home, what the, we're trying to do here is we're trying to activate the properties of the honey. Okay. So the honey, as many people know, and as many people have been taking for years, have certain enzymes in it that prevent you from suffering from seasonal allergies. Really? But a lot of people always ask, how do we use the honey? Yeah. So today, we have some dates, some apricots, and some pears. And if we just drizzle a little bit of balsamic into Ooh. this, I would have thought, thought about yeah, that with the have. vinegar at all. Okay, you're going to see that we're going to get something very, very similar to this. And then when you're done, you can just pack it in a little mason jar with maybe a little spoon and take this to work with you. Take it to school if you have kids. This is an easy way to create a very healthy snack. So if you ladies want apricots, oh, pears, dates, go ahead and just dip straight in and let us know what you think. As we do this, I want to ask you, why did you choose National Harbor? Well, this will be our fourth location. We have locations in Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and in Michigan. We've wanted to be in National Harbor for a while. We just simply weren't ready to scale. The demand here is so high that we're very excited to be here. And so now that we're ready, we're in our 12th year of business. And this is something that we can't be more excited about. So we're opening in two weeks, 170 American Way, sticky situations. You know what? You're the bee's knees. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking. Thank you. Beyonce might be Queen Bee, but Stephen's King Bee. There That's you go. That's his new title. And you can find the king right here at National Harbor. Hello. <laughs> All right, back to you guys. It is really good. Thank you.